Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to announce that you are now to hear Miss Marjorie Lawrence, the Australian prima donna, congratulate the winner of this year's ARIA contest. Even before the preliminaries were decided, this charming artist expressed a desire to leave a message to the winner. And at the invitation of 3DB, she attended the studio one afternoon in July. I will now ask Mr. Thorold Waters to introduce her. The Sun News Pictorial is very proud of Miss Marjorie Lawrence, the Australian girl who has taken a position second to none among the operatic sopranos of our day. Incidentally, I am very proud of Miss Lawrence too. Every Australian should be proud of her. Eleven years ago, she won the Sun Aria Contest. It was held in Geelong that time. It was my wonderful privilege to proclaim that we had found a girl with a glorious career ahead of her. She owned a lovely voice. She showed an extraordinary temperament. And now she has justified the prediction. She did so because in addition to her other gifts, she possessed the sheer grit which alone will enable any artist to get right to the top and stay there. But you all know about Marjorie Lawrence now. She is Australia's most celebrated woman. She looks like shining in history as Melba did. Her conquest of her own land is as complete as her conquest of Europe and America. She is shortly to leave for America, but before she goes, she wants to leave a message which I am sure will be much appreciated by the winner. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Marjorie Lawrence. Whoever you may be, girl or man, the winner of the Sun Aria for 1939, I want to congratulate you. When I returned to Australia, I thought that I would have been here when the final was decided, and I was looking forward to congratulating the winner personally. I was very disappointed when I learned that I would not be in Australia at that time. It was then suggested that I might record my congratulations, and I was delighted to do so. Isn't it wonderful to think that one can say nice things to people one has never seen and have them turned on just at the right moment? Believe me, I'm getting quite a thrill out of this. And now to the serious part of the business, which I can assure you is giving me great pleasure. As I said before, I want to congratulate this young artist on winning the Sun Aria for 1939. It's a very fine achievement, and I wish you the same glorious opportunities it opened up for me in 1928. Every time I sing a new opera, I think what the Sun Aria did for me, and my heart is full of gratitude to the Sun and to darling Thorold Waters. The Sun Aria is the most wonderful encouragement that I know of anywhere in the world to unknown young singers. It has placed many others beside myself on the map. I hope it goes on and on. I will always watch its winners and help them in any way I possibly can. Believe me, I would dearly love to be with you tonight and to hear you sing, but you know that's impossible. And now, Marjorie, is it too bold of me to suggest just a tiny stave or two, a verse of my own folk, perhaps? Felix Wolfus is here, so you'll have your accompanist right on hand. Why should you think it too bold to ask so little? I would do anything you ask on behalf of the sun. Felix, will you play for me? With pleasure, my dear. <laughs> Oh, my, 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 my. 
thank you ever so much, madhuri dear.